Alright, welcome back to Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus, where last we left off, the, the gang went and done saved the healer of the party, Thanaris. They walked into Bell's Forge after Bell's Forge was assaulted by another pit fiend and uh, successfully uh, saved Thanaris. Um, Taslin took off with his new icy murder gang. And the gang currently sits outside of Bell's Forge, kind of just, kind of just chilling around, uh, sitting around doing their own thing, and to kind of um, get some uh, resolution. Uh, I can't remember the word, so I'm going to use that word of stuff that happened. I think last session with the Mirror Mephistopheles. Um, I'm going to go through and give each of you your answers. Um, Jerifel, Hen, Hogarth, and Thry, each of you roll me a d20, please. Whoever gets the highest will start with. Oh, uh, yeah. You know I yeah. gotta start with my real dice. 14. Okay. Thry, you're first. Uh, as you uh, are outside of Bell's Forge, um, well, I guess you would have gotten the answer back at the Mirror Mephistar, Star, so we'll, we'll say that. You uh, get uh, an interesting answer. You hear a voice creep into your head saying, What you ask is an interesting question, and what you seek is impossible. What you are after is full of perils and dangers around every corner. Nowhere is safe. Nothing is as easy as you want it to be. Every possible option you will come across will put you and your companions in harm's way, and it certainly will not be an easy task to achieve what you wish. And then the voice fades out. The next highest is Jerifel. You don't hear a voice yeah. as you stand in front of this mirror. However, you do feel yourself standing there feeling a bit more powerful as the knowledge and power of gladiators of the past that have come before you and have yeah. died in the fighting pits and arenas fuel you with the combat prowess and skills of hundreds of fighters as you feel as if your skill and control over the battlefield is heightened and I'm going to give you a pick of two more battle techniques two yes oh shit okay well i know what one is gonna be the next highest uh, get back to me is hen hen as you stand in this mirror you your vision begins warping into the mirror itself <laughs> something appears that only you can see as if mephistopheles himself is granting you a vision in fact, he shows you two different sights. He knows what you desire, and he will grant your wish. First, you see a dragonborn with a sickly green hand plodding from within a tent. Followed by a voice you hear from deep within a large draconic skull resonating back as that of the voice of a god. Both signs, however, seem to point to this dragonborn. What you seek belongs to him, and you must take it. And finally... Noted. Thank you. Hogarth. Yeah. You hear... You hear a voice in your head. Similar to what Thry heard, except, you know, you didn't hear what Thry heard. You hear a voice saying... You wish to leave Avernus, yet you've been clearly enjoying your stay. If you do so wish to travel the layers, then seek a ship riding the river Styx, for the river flows between each. Oh, and if you ever find yourself in Cania, well, I hope you enjoy the stay. And then the voice fades out. And then fast forward, suddenly all of you are at Bell's Forge, saving Thanaris. Already saved the nurse, yeah? yeah. We're not doing, we're not repeating history. No, no, we're not repeating history. Okay. You, 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 we, we just we went back in the past a little bit so you can get your knowledge from Mephistopheles and then we fast forward it. Hmm. And now you're outside of Bell's Forge. 
Okay. What took but... you guys so long? That was not fun. I did not enjoy my time there. Okay. Yeah, we we took a long time. Are you okay? First off, uh, I died a lot. Like yeah, every <laughs> every hour, basically. Um, I lost my shield. So you know, it well, it turned into that big thing you saw in the lava. Oh yeah. Yeah, that thing. All right. Yeah, but yeah. you're you're fine though. Like you're you're not dying again, right? No, but can you crack my back? It's real tight. I can't really <laughs> walk too well. I've been chained up for a long time. Okay, okay, okay. All well, right. I mean, shit. What, what now? <laughs> we gotta kill Zerio. Kill Zerio. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay, where, where'd that come from? Is that not what we came down here for? That or to save the city that we came down here for? I mean, I came down for personal reasons, but that wow. we already found the tattoo guys, brother. Yeah, yeah. Is it like, but Zerio's like the, the leader of this place, right? Like, the, she, she's the big boss. You guys brought an army with you? We brought, like... 12 no devils. I don't think they can do much against Zerio. It's better than no one. They can give me shields. It's fine. <laughs> okay, well, let's say we do decide to kill Zerio. Do you know where Zerio is? No. No. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the, nice. the last you would have heard, uh, you have to you you have to somehow find and seek out her flying fortress. Her flying fortress. If I look up to the sky, do I see a flying fortress? Give me a perception check. <laughs> I add that d6. Let me actually check, because you might not. <laughs> I like how the questionable bit is that he might not. <laughs> um, let's see here. Serial's Flying Fortress. Actually, yeah. You do see what looks to be a large fortress uh, docked at a dock. <laughs> Ooh, could I get like a rough estimate on how far up it is? Uh, I mean, and it's like... flying. Okay, like flying like a million feet in the air. Uh, also, here's the dock, the Stygian dock. Oh, it's like right here. Oh, uh, so it's 450 feet tall. Huh. Shit. All right. Sounds good to me. So you wanna? Yeah, you wanna go to that fortress and kill Big Boss. Oh, my bad. I you got it wrong. But you do see her fortress. You tasked to find her citadel, the bleeding citadel of Zeriel. No. I mean, I gotta find her house, I guess. Me, you know. personally, I, I'm i okay with this plan. I, I, think that'll be, uh, I think that'd be a hell of a time. I knew you'd be on board. You always are on board. Yeah. Violence is always the answer. <laughs> Do you want to be like the boss once we kill her? What, like, no, I don't, care. I don't care about that. Oh, you don't care. You just want to throw it into more chaos, yeah. Alright, I like that. I like it. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> so, this person that we're going to go kill, she runs this place? Yeah, she's like the... She's like the Archduke of this place, I think. She's like the big the big boss lady. How much right. do I actually know about, about Zero? Um, well, you know that, uh, you know a decent amount. You do know she's the big boss lady, considering that Bell told you as Modius demoted him to her second in command. Um, yeah. and that she runs Avernus, basically. She is, 
as you said, the Archduke of Avernus. Uh, she basically <laughs> runs the devil army on this layer. She, yeah, she's basically the big boss. She controls all of Avernus. <laughs> yeah, she's the, she's the big boss lady. She controls the devil army, and she's got, you know, she's the boss. <clears throat> well, I, not that I'm not for going and making this pal power vacuum. Um, I'm all for this. Um, but before we do that, is there any way maybe we could stop by some uh, Dragonborn friend I uh, happen to know around here? <laughs> you got friends to know? <laughs> well, we got friends everywhere, don't we? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if it's not the way, it's probably no harm. Uh, I'm sure like they'll me. be able to lend us a hand. Come on, let's we'll, we'll, we'll just yeah, go sure. twenty minute adventure. <laughs> I'm fine to in fine and out, friend. If it's twenty eight minutes, then definitely. But like, oh, Gar, uh, uh, question for you. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Hypothetically, if I turn into a giant eagle, do you think I could uh, carry us all up to that fortress? Hypothetically, huh? Well, I have no clue. <laughs> Can giant eagles usually carry four people? Three people? I don't know. How many people are here? Three? I, I don't know. Is it three? Hold on. I need it. I mean, I probably There's count as two. two. One, two. For going by weight. Four people. Okay. So five people. Because Jared fell kind of says two, I guess. I, I, I feel like you would probably know a giant eagle more than me. Would I know if they could? Um, I don't know. What the size are they? They're, uh, large. They're large? Yeah. I'd say they could probably hold two oh, damn, medium dude. creatures, so they could hold two of you. Well, I mean, Hen can fly. He'll be fine. Duh. I, I don't think I'll need to worry about being carried either, so. But I, I think you could, yeah. That sounds good. Uh, so... You also still have your bikes that, uh... Smiler gave you all just sitting yeah. in front of you. We're just like on our bikes chatting. You guys I are mean, just yeah, all so standing in front that of Bell's forge. That is mm -hmm. what the bros do. <laughs> you guys are just like standing outside the staircase that leads down into Bell's forge, just like <laughs> talking while your bikes are still running. <laughs> Have we gotten any flasks of of uh, pit fiend blood blood yet? Would Hold you like Garth. to go back down? No, but I. I would love to if I could you just can... do a little sneaky. Actually, can... no, Jerfel, you're like the master sneaking, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. You wanna? Yeah, you know. You owe me. I, you know Jerfell. what? I'm okay with that. I owe you. Speak up. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to remember what it is. I might be able to help you out. Uh, give me one 20 seconds. Are you looking for pass without trace? Yes. I just want to see if I have it. Yes, I do have it. Uh, uh, I don't know if Jeriful has the knowledge of that spell, but uh, it's proximity based. I would love to use my Helm of Telepathy on Jeriful. <laughs> Which, for some reason, means I have to cast Detect Thoughts, but I don't really want to see his thoughts. I just want to talk to him. Yeah. That's cool. fine. I guess, could I cast, uh, does Jerifa want me to cast Path Without Trace on him? Is... Oh, is Thry coming with? Yeah. Then, I mean... It would be better for both of us. Alright, so you guys going down as... 
uh, Hogarth begins talking in Jerifel's mind. I got a 15 on my die. I don't know what type of save it is, but that's at least a 16, so... Yes. Sorry, Helm of Telepathy. Oh. 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 Alright, so you guys oh. go to sneak down. Uh, I'm going to keep everyone on this map just for the sake of it, but uh, Thrai and Jarafel, please roll me a stealth as you sneak down into Bell's Forge. I would also give myself guidance. Yeah, don't worry about me. I can also give you guidance as you walk down, um, Jerifo. Oh, I mean, I already rolled, but yeah, I appreciate it. What'd you get? Uh, duh, duh. 33. Yeah, okay. 33 so and 34, 34 the, Jesus. Uh, 34. <laughs> both of you, both of you sneak on down into the forge. You see Bell has returned and uh he you see the corpse of the the pit fiend that he was fighting. He dragged it back down and seemingly tossed it in this direction. He's currently sitting in his throne just annoyance and anger on his face, but he doesn't seem to see or hear you guys as you sneak on in. Cool. Uh, there were pools, just gallons of blood all over the place. Yeah, there was. Um. I'm... Unless there's, like, something really close to the stairway, I'm gonna have us go like uh buh, 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 so that we can get some from like around here okay uh so i don't know where the pools of blue are there yeah there there was blood all around the central fighting area okay so no need to do super stealth over here cool um i guess i'll take whatever sort of flask was given to me all right. And uh, make sure to stay close enough. Okay. Uh, you can. Well, uh, well, you can give me a survival check with advantage because there's a well, lot of blood. <laughs> oh, good. I have proficiency in that. Oh, good. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah, you get a full uh couple. Like couple, like maybe two or three solid full vials of uh, pit fiend blood, which is kind of a mix of this darkish red, blackish type color. Yeah, and uh, water skin. Oh, go ahead. Can I hand you a water skin? <laughs> sure. I'll do what I can with a, fl a flexible container. All right, so. You roll, uh, give me another survival with advantage. You are using a bigger container, though, so also give me a stealth check again. Both of you. Uh, okay. Sure. Oh, that's a natural 20 on the survival for 24. Okay. And... 28. Yeah. Uh, 23. 23? Not very good this time. Yeah, you managed to get about half of the water skin full before... Oh, no, no, no. 23 what? stealth. Yeah, I know. Natural 20 for survival. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you managed to get... Sorry. Um, we'll say it's close to full. It's not full yet. Uh, it's definitely close as you're sitting there, kind of both of you... Uh, in the shadows of the stairs, keeping an eye on Bell. He does seem to be shifting a little bit in his chair, more so out of annoyance and anger for having to endure this assault on his forge more than, you know, noticing you guys. But he, he is stirring a little bit, but you do eventually manage to get your uh, flask full, or your water skin full of uh, pit fiend blood. I 
reach out a hand behind me and like probably a little too aggressively but uh shove thry back in order to just start making our way as i look from our i presume shadowy and brimstone looking field of illusion around us mm -hmm. just take a glare at at this pit fiend all right you and then i'll at him. Uh, i'll uh make my way downtown all right roll me one final stealth check as you both ascend the stairs oh yeah that's right you right uh that's a little higher 27 24 you guys make it back upstairs no problem I just asked for the uh, water skin back. Uh, here's your blood. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, man. I I really appreciate this. That guy's really scary. I mean, not that scary, but still really scary. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, how far away is? Tamriel. That's the name. The name of what? The city? Tam Tamriel. Is it not Tamriel? Tamriel's in Elder Scrolls. Wait, what? Ariel? <laughs> Elterel. Uh, Elterel. Wait, Tamriel's in Elder Scrolls? Tamriel is a place in Elder Scrolls. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, my bad. Uh, Elterel. Um, Elterel... Uh, well, one, Alterel is currently still flying in the air, so you'd have to find a way to get back up there. Two, there's mm -hmm. a constant demon-devil war underneath it. And three, mm -hmm. it's like... Here. Here. Can you ping that again? Bottom right corner of the map. Here. Oh. Here. Okay. We're not going there. <laughs> uh. You guys oh, right. moved a lot. Uh, yeah. Out of all of Avernus, we've definitely gone quite a ways. Let's, uh, let's talk about what we're gonna do. And, whoa, who's this dragon, dragonfolk guy? Not so much who, but where is he? Uh, do I actually know, like, where, where? Or just kind of, like, a rough idea? Um, in your vision... You definitely saw a large dragon skull, which you would have known is up here. Okay. Oh. Um, I would point out that, you know, like, I would say what I saw, essentially. Because, like, I don't necessarily know if I would, like, know which direction that is. Unless it's, like, blatantly obvious over the horizon. Oh, it's blatantly obvious that there's a giant okay. draconic skull. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, you know if this, you know if this guy has any information on Zeriel? Uh, no, but I, I have a hunch that he'll lend us a hand, give us a little bit of power. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's all gonna be okay. great. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, here is my plan. Tell me if you guys think it's cool. We go to this hen's friend in Avernus, I guess. Uh, see if he knows anything about Zeriel. Try to get any information, or maybe he knows someone who knows someone who knows someone that could help us. And eventually if we have some free time go back to El Terrell so I can get the tattoo. That sound how's that sound to you guys? Uh I get a tattoo too, right? Did you get a lot of blood? Yes. Then yeah, man. Yeah. Of course. I would take out the uh, water skin of blood. 
God damn. Uh, all right, then, yeah, this sound, this sound good to you guys? Sign of me. As long as I get to kill Zero. All right. Well, let's go to this dragon school then. All right. See what's up there. So as each of you take steps to your various bikes and begin mounting them and getting ready for a journey, Jerifel, as you take a step towards your devil's ride, you feel oh boy. the helmet on your head. You just feel the sharp pain shoot through your head as a familiar feeling hits you the feeling of multiple visions assaulting your uh, mind at I'm once. seeing again you see your your vision is wrenched and you see a spined devil talking to himself maddeningly inside the helm of a titanus looking creature or what belonged to a titanus creature your visions then shift to another view this time you see a dark tower rising hundreds of feet into the Avernian sky, charred skulls impaled on its ramparts, and what seem to be dozens of undead growling and gnashing as if it's trying to take bites out of you. The vision then shifts to the bottom of the tower, where a turtle with various runes carved into its shell walks forward. The vision flashes once more to the inside of a tent, where you see a dragonborn sitting on a makeshift throne. As he clutches in one hand this large axe, and his other hand, a green and sickly color compared to the rest of his red scales resting underneath his chin. This vision is suddenly wrenched out of the tent at violent speeds, and you come to once more, standing outside of Bell's Forge, taking a step towards your bike. Okay. And everyone watching this would have seen... Jerifel walking, as all of you, you know, get on your bikes, you would have seen Jerifel begin walking toward his bike, and as he takes a step, he kind of immediately falls to his knees and grabs up at the helmet on his head. And then the visions end within almost a second of him falling down, and then you see light and, you know, color appear in Jerifel once more. Are you okay? Did you trip? What's wrong? I don't know if I like knowing where we need to go next. Oh, that's not good. That? Yeah. I did. What'd you see? Uh, there's... a... titan skull with... a mad spiked spined devil inside of it and when i say mad i'm sure they're not actually very angry they wouldn't have the mental capacity for that but i also saw a tall tower with gnashing things and a turtle person huh. the and a dragon born, which I worry is a friend. When you say friend, quotations in the background. <laughs> he had a sickly hand. It looked like magic. Yeah. <laughs> uh... But that's so, what it looks like. Do you think Torm we, wants us to do? You think we should go to this place? Probably at some point. 
All right. Well, yeah. I still say better now than never. Because I, I, uh, the only other place I think we can go to is Alterrealm. That's as far away. I'm not sure this one is much closer either. Yeah, it's closer. A little bit. Come on now. Just to show you, this is a tower you would have seen over here. Yeah, I knew it was Archon, but I don't know it's Archon. No, but you know it's Archon. Archon. But I know it's Archon. Oh. Archon and Vecna. Could roll his cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, the turtle looks cool too. I mean, I don't know what the turtle looks like. <laughs> well, actually, I do because I saw it in my vision. Yeah, and I can show you what you saw. Yeah, guys, let's see what I saw. Let me scroll down. To Even though you didn't see quick. it. Monkey. Love monkey. <laughs> you better still love monkey after you've uh. After you've made a knoll. I will. This is who you saw. Crawl. Oh, shit. That guy looks sick. Yeah. Yeah, he do. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, you know what? Only because I forgot to do it in my little description. When you saw the visions of the gnashing and biting undead, you would have definitely spotted a familiar undead face within the hordes on the ramparts. Oh. Uh, the boss zombie himself. I... <laughs> no. Yes. I don't He's all tell anyone. No one can know. <laughs> this is what scares... Jerofell. This is what keeps Jerofell up. <laughs> okay. Well, to... Let's get going if you're okay. Also, yeah. You guys have motorcycles. Um. Well, we had a motorcycle from. A lady named Mad Maggie, and also a little buggy. Uh, but then we lost the motorcycle, sent it back with a little guy with a red cap. I don't really know what it is. Um, and then we got an even bigger buggy and lost our little buggy. Um, and then we lost the big buggy because uh, we had to destroy a train. Um, but then we had to get somewhere, and so some other guy who keeps smiling a lot came up and just, like, created a bunch of motorcycles. Though I realize we don't really know what motorcycles are, but we do. We do. So it, it sounds like while I was getting tortured and murdered and brought back to life, regularly you guys were off having a motorcycle gang war? Hey, Robin yeah! I told you that I was getting, that I, my top priority was getting you back. I, listen, your experiences of Avernus might not be that good, but let me tell you, it's a, it's a hell of a fun place, man. Lots to do here. I'm going to get Zeriel's sword and control an army and kill everyone else. <laughs> I think is what I'm going to do. And eliminate all the motorcycles. No fun to be had. <laughs> Don't get rid of the fun, man. Oh. <laughs> Do I know how to And Taslin's not going to be happy about that. Who's, who's Taslin? Was that the cat man? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, give him a glass of warm milk. He'll be happy. <laughs> 
I don't think that'd make a gang leader happy. I feel like he's a bit more. I know he's a cardinal, but. Maybe also, he's got to be a bit uh, more vicious than that. This is Zeriel's so... flying fortress, real quick. Oh, it's a sword. That, yeah, it really is. It's tall. And uh, this is the Stygian dock. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, were the undead at Archon's Tower as well, or uh, was that a different place? Yes, the uh, the undead were on the ramparts of Archon's Tower. Okay. I mean, a tower that looks, like, impressive and stuff. Yes. Actually, you probably would have noticed more, uh... Because it, it's very obvious for the tower. Because, um... See, I need to reread Archon's tower for a second. Um... Ah, yes. You would have seen this flying at the peak of the tower. Oh. oh yeah. A great I don't think I'm... white dragon flying at the peak. Wow. Well, I I would say that that doesn't really fit, but we were just at the Mephistar mirror which was all icy and shit, so who might have judge? So we good to go? Yeah. I suppose so. I don't know how we're going to get across, though. <laughs> It'd probably be stupid to go through the bridge at Bell's Forge, yeah. Is this Bell's Forge? Uh -huh. Yeah, we moved now? Bell's Forge here. Also, Din, I feel like I, I think I at one point said there's like a, there's like a bridge right here. Uh, well, if that's the case, we might as well stop at El Terrell before going back, because we're going to have to get over here anyway. And where are we going first? Are we going to the dock or are we going to the tower to see your, his friend? Um, I... if we're going to the tower, it's probably best I take this bridge that we're beside and cross over that way, save some time. Why, sis? How are we gonna go across this? Some of us can fly, right? Carry each other. I only, I only know how to hit good. <laughs> I could turn into something that flies. That's true. Yeah. So what's the plan, gang? Well, Hen said he has a dragon friend, somehow, in Avernus, and... It just makes sense. Dragon-born friend, not an actual oh. dragon. Also, what's wrong with your face? You look different from last time I saw you. No, we've been just having a blast. Everything's fine. You might want to put some some lotion on that. Yeah, man. Like, is it... I mean, not to like be mean or anything. I'm just like telling you as a as a friend. Well, if it's it's, it if it's bothering funny. you, you you can try healing it if you like. Last time I tried, it didn't work. So, have you gotten rid of whatever anti-healing block you have on you? Since then, I have uh, I've I found a an ends to a means, you could say. Uh, okay. Well, if it's not bothering you, I mainly just wanted you to be aware if you didn't already, because we don't seem to have mirrors down here. So, actually, I do have one. Let me let me show you, and I pull out um my uh my mirror 
that I have that is... Oh man, where'd my thing go? For some reason it deleted all my tokens that I had from from here. Weird. Um, my mirror of soon. I'll pull out my mirror of the love goddess and show you your face. <laughs> Bam! Just in case you wondered. Point of view, all all his solo sees is perfection. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm glad you have a very high amount of self esteem. I'm not gonna judge you and tell you not to. Look at me. I've been killed a lot. I look like hell. <laughs> so, all right, let's go meet your friend. Question mark? I guess. Sure. That sounds good. I saw. I don't know how to ride this thing, so I'm just gonna. Turn some knobs and press some buttons and see what happens. Uh, no. You're getting one of them to drive. Oh. Or are you getting on one of ours? Can they hold two people? I'm pretty sure. If, uh... We can make it work. I think it could work with Jerafel, as since Jerafel has, uh vehicle stuff it would just slow you down uh, a little bit instead of giving disadvantage how fast do they go yeah, i mean i, I could I, uh, I could try to drive it it's fine i know that whisper but i'm being nice i i, I could try also was not supposed to be a whisper but it Uh, well, 120 feet for regular movement, so. You can go pretty fast. Well, I'll try. I'll, I'll grab on and try and drive and see what happens. I can give him, like, some pointers so that he doesn't crash. Alright. At least I can try. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> right into a tree immediately. Ow! Wrong turn. How the hell did you even find a tree? You find a tree in Avernus. Uh, yeah. roll me, roll me, um, let's see, Thanaris, roll me, roll me, what a roll would this be? Roll me a straight intelligence. Oh, you can do that. 17. She's kind of okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, I roll twice. Yeah, she's not stupid. Yeah, okay. You get you get a handle of it. You uh you skid out once or twice, but eventually you get a handle of it and you know how to ride a. You you're not, you know, you understand how to ride. All of you have understood understood how to ride these devils ride rides. Um, I mean, it doesn't give you you know vehicle proficiencies, but you all know how to ride them enough to get around. That's fair. Like we're in, we're not out here stunting on him, but we cannot crash immediately. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Um. Well. Lead on. I guess. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast a major oh. around myself as we take off. Was the mad spined devil in the tower as well? Uh, no. The the mad spined devil was in a different location. Uh, let me see what okay. his location is. Uh, his location... That's what I was trying to get at. Is... Not the undead. I knew the undead was in the same spot. Is it on this map? It is on this map. Right down here. Okay, yeah, I, I would also say if we didn't want to go to the two towers, we could head to Old Uldrak's grave. Whoopsies, we have something else to do now. <laughs> <laughs> we can go wherever. Just tell me where to point this thing, and I'll drive there. So you have Archon's Tower and the Monument to Tiamat, or you have Uldrak's Grave, or the Stygian Docks. 
You can always go back to like... Bell's Forge. I mean, or El Terrell. Or El Terrell. Don't forget El Terrell. That, yeah. That's I don't my part. Thing particularly understand why I should care about that devil, but presumably it's a deal with in one way or the other type thing, so. Well, we're trying you know what, why not? Let's, let's go to the monument. Let's, let's just delve straight into Tiamat's shit. That's a great that's, idea. That's sort of what I'm going for. That sounds, that sounds cool, man. Alright, let's do it. What was uh, Thrai going to say? What you wanted to say? The what? Can you examine <laughs> the what? I don't even remember what this is. Was, was this from the like our second session? Almighty Demon Zapper. Yeah. The Fang thing. The East of us from Tiamat's Horde. Oh! The, yeah. Uh, it's, I Plus need like, to... Like, see if it's, like, changed forgot the about or that. Scroll up to see even where that happened. We got... You remember when the Cambion fought us on the road? The Cambion... The Cambion. Fought you, you on for? the road. It was, like, right when Thaneris got the shield. Uh, the shield and was underground. Him. Yeah, it was like right after we In... got Hold on. What item are you talking about? The, the uh, fang. The fang that was part of Team on Sword. There's, uh, yeah, there was. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going, that. I'm going through fang. my notes. Well, the campaign notes. Um, boy, because I absolutely do not remember that. Um. The dagger we found it was, uh, two pieces of a broken dagger. Yeah. And then in the candle keep we got it fixed. Yeah, and it and said that's something, also right? I did, uh, yeah, that's also when I did the uh, ritual book thing, which let me get the decipher language thing. Because you said you had to know Dragonborn or something to be able to understand it. And what did it say? I, I think no thing. Idea. It was... Did you literally yeah. just say, was it just Fang? Mm-hmm. I believe so. Um... Oh, yeah, Still okay, I found it. it. I found it. Dagger. It's a dagger. A ceremonial dagger stolen from Tiamat's horde. A curved yeah. ivory blade bearing draconic runes that spell out Fang. And what do you want to do with it? Just examine, see if anything changed since we came into Avernus. Um, sure. Give me an investigation. With advantage, because you know Dragonborn. If I cast the spell. What if you cast a spell? No, to let me, like, understand languages and all that. Oh, yeah. you cast comfort languages, yeah? Nice. Yeah. 10? 14? Um, I mean, it doesn't feel different. It definitely... Something's going on with it. Uh, it definitely feels a bit more... Magical than it once did. But it still seems to be a dagger. Got it. So it definitely feels more magical than it once did. Um, to answer that question, to who just whispered me, um, I'll say yeah, one more. Because I like to have fun. No fun allowed. No fun allowed. Alright, where are you guys going? What, what's the final decision? I'm voting for Monument of Tiamat. Yeah, we can go to the Tiamat stuff. All right, is that is that the final vote from everyone? Tiamat monument. Mhm. Mm yes. All right. Now, what way are you going? <laughs> I 
Well, why do you, why do you need to make us decide again, I man? We cross the bridge. Well, yeah, they get over the pit, but what and about how the river? How are you crossing river? the river? <laughs> All right. Let's have another saying. hour discussion about this. Guys. If we were gonna go over this bridge to get around, why not try to get back to El Terrell or something? I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna throw out some options too. You could go to Udrak's grave and then go to El Terrell. That seems perfectly. You could perfectly go this reasonable. way and then go around and cross the Sarlacc pit to the monument. Bro. We'll just do a dude? big old Mr. canyon jump over the cross the bridge, pit. and then What's that fly. Right guy? What are they called? Mesh, mesh, mephits. Mephits. Mesh fights. Mephits? Is mephits. that guy still here? The tiny boys. Mephits. Yeah. Can he uh, get us something that can cross the bridge or uh, river? Uh, no one's with you anymore. Uh, your 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 yeah. ice devils also. We, we really spent so long here. They your just your ice devils also joined. Taslin and his frosty gang. Oh. Yeah. They were just your guard to kind of bring you here. Damn. Alright. And then if you're talking about the boy who helped you blow up the pit of Shroomrath, yeah, he left ages ago. Damn. Okay. Uh, you have well, no friends have, here, sir. If we have sufficient fly spells, fly type spells, I would like to get over but then that means that our motorcycles are gone yeah unless we want to hide them but i don't know how well, well we can hide them there is a boat somewhere on the river sticks somewhere i assume somewhere it's or something uh could also i know it's stupid but we could swim, and possibly, and probably, and guaranteed to die. <laughs> but we could. That is also an option. Let's go around. <laughs> okay. We can probably just fly across. You can we fly across? <laughs> okay. We can, but then they are gone. Do we really need them though? Where are we gonna go yes, after? I do believe we need them. I don't know. Maybe we'll find more. All right, fine. Drive. We'll go. However you guys want to go. Is that your motorcycle? <laughs> Uh, it's well, a, it's a big map. You got plenty of options. Uh, I guess we're going over the bridge and then taking the long way so we can keep our devil's rides. All right, so you're going like this. Just let me know how many cell coins we need to spend. Um, Do we have a finite number of cell coins? I, I, I mean, I have 12. I don't have any. Yeah, I think you guys have 12 amongst all of you, and 24 hours is one soul coin. So that'd probably take you enough to get to the monument. All of them? Yeah, so oh, one... Oh, well, well fuck. Then. Let's just drop them off here. Screw it, fly spell. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's logistic this, because we got to actually be able to do this. There's five people here. No, me can... Also. Can... Kinda... Fly. What are you, uh, <laughs> what are you saying, Thrai? Just couldn't we do that, just get here. Hen and I fly over, and then if you guys have a fly spell, fly over. I don't have the fly spell, guys. You don't? <laughs> I don't know what made you all believe I had the fly you, spell. I never once... Really I never once like said had the I had the no, fly spell. No, I... I all I, said I was, was thinking we I had like fly. I can fly. <laughs> Transmutation type magic. You do. You have a druid who can turn into a giant bird and fly you over. Their rise taxi service. How can you fly though? Oh, I guess you haven't seen it. Yet. I guess I heard this voice in my head, and now I can, wham! And you see this like 
golden radiant energy just explode out of thin Eris, and I like create these angelically golden wings like this <laughs> and I pull out my transformation boon with angelic wings just Duh. start flying in there well shit man okay okay I'm not as fast as as hen but I can fly Thing, like okay. angelic angel wings spread out your back when you say that you're not as fast as me he kind of like gets some non-existent sweat off of his like forehead for a second <laughs> we can race for your win because <laughs> I'm, I'm not that fast all right uh, the ride do you have the capability to change one of us into something that flies Well, you know what I could do? He could transform into his giant eagle thing, and he could take you, probably, on his back. And if I can't fit on there, I could transform into something really small with my wild shape. I can and... carry you. Yeah, exactly. Well, can, can you carry me like this? Uh, probably not. How much do you weigh? It's a good question. Probably... I'm a human? What am I? Yes, I'm a human. I probably weigh 230 pounds, 240 pounds. Oh, I can lift 360 pounds. So, probably. Just, I can't promise I won't drop you in the river, but I could carry you. Uh, yeah, how, that how much doesn't you give me. 340. I could do both of them. Uh, with a little bit of giant eagle and floating disc. <sighs> I don't know if your floating disc is going to keep up. Floating disc cannot go over open rivers, which sucks. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. What? Yeah, it all. So basically, the what? Because I've tried this before. I tried to make a makeshift bridge, and then I found out when the player stepped on it and fell into a spike pit that um, it will only go for like 10 feet into an open yeah, area and then it just falls down three just, feet yeah. above the ground yeah. it's basically like a, it's basically like the floating wagons from star wars that they just like carry stuff on it's like that what yeah it's weird because that spell would have so, so much more if it didn't have that limitation that spell would be so very good yeah This can't move across a 10 foot deep pit. There you go. But if the river isn't deeper than 10 feet. True. Mm. <laughs> Does it have to be solid matter? It can't be gas matter, obviously, but what about liquid matter? Uh, doesn't say anything about. Anything. I mean that that's a really dumb question. I'm just Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming as long as the river is not ten feet deep, we can cross it. You can certainly try. Can try. Can try and test to see if the river sticks is ten feet deep. You can certainly jump into the river sticks <laughs> if you want to. Uh, okay, I need to know. Who is more capable of, well, lifting me? Well, I can carry 360 pounds. Total. Oh, with all of my weight or items, I'd probably still be under 350. With all my stuff, I realize I probably am more than 360. I mean, if it came to it, I think Hen and I could probably double up and carry a person together. And then Therai could probably carry a person if you flew or turned someone into something or something like that. But yeah. yeah. Okay. You, you guys want to do that then? Yeah, let's do that and conserve some soul right. coins if we ever run into anything else. Uh, Jerfell, you want to you wanna go on Giant Eagle? 
I, and I gotta be with the most confident person here. I think that would be the best. I don't know, what do you I mean? The ride's really up to you, I'd say, but you think you could carry Jerifel? How strong would I have to be, you think, to carry him as an eagle? Uh, you'd probably do it. Uh, everyone, as you're all sitting around, keep in mind you, you're still outside of Bell's Forge. <laughs> you were just chilling out here, man. Everyone roll me a perception check, real quick. Uh, 14, 25, 11, and 10. So, Hen and Thanaris, you guys hear the sound of something. You don't see it, Hogarth. You hear and see nothing. You uh, mean Thorai? Yeah. What? You mean Thorai? I saw it with a 10. Oh, you no, you heard it. Gotcha. Uh, Thorai and Jerifel, uh, you guys see and hear it as you kind of look beyond the ways towards Archon's Tower, and you see this large, white dragon breathing a frosty breath, uh, a blast of frost and cold over something in front of the tower. And then it, be it lets out a loud roar, and then begins once more flying the peak of this tower. Yeah, that's also going to be an issue. Let's go. Um, I guess I'd like to kick up my vehicle and, and have us start heading out. Alright. Have we settled yeah. on a direction? This way. Alright. Yeah. You guys, boom, right here. Yeah, we do. And you do see... I need to use up any soul coins? No, not for this. This one, you're still running on your old soul coin. Cool. And uh, so you guys get there, and you're at the edge of the the river Styx, and you see the better look of Archon's tower. This time now, Thanaris and uh, Hogarth and Hen, you guys see the large circling white dragon at the peak of this tower, and you see beyond the ways a large, large, large titanus draconic skull behind it. Huh. Well, that's, that's scary. That's but, are you nothing to it but to do it, right? I guess we keep going that way? That's a saying I picked up in all my times of dying, the kids talk about it. <laughs> If there's legitimately anywhere to stash these, I would like to try at least. Um, sure. Roll me investigation. Ooh, that's better than perception. It should, yeah. Oh. Ten. It takes a while, but you do find a decently sized, like, uh, like overhang of a nearby cliff that has some shade underneath it. Alright, well, at least we can try this. It's like walking our, our devil's rides around trying to find a place. <laughs> you guys see parking anywhere? Parking? <laughs> Do we need I'll, to get a I'll ticket? I'll even do a little bit of pay, pay parking. Just not too much. I'm desperate, okay. Uh, but yeah, I would roll my my ride into there and just have it, like, fall over. Alright, uh, as you do... Actually, I don't even know if it can. It's, 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 got, it's, a it's got a thick boy. Yeah, it's, got, it's also got kickstands. Uh, okay. As, as you wheel your... Um, your uh your bikes in you uh you hear a loud uh, all of you hear what sounds to be a loud popping sound from behind you and um out from uh seemingly nowhere seems to be a uh, a large and lanky uh devil looking figure in a valet outfit 
And he looks at you, Jarafel, and says, All right, you know, I'm trying to run a good business here, okay? You come into my business and you don't even you don't even call for me. It's rude. You don't just enter a man's shop and say nothing. I continue to say nothing. Who is this guy, Jarifo? How do you guys know so many people in hell? I'll admit this is actually the first person I don't know. Uh, well, what can I do for you, sir? He 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 kind of saunters up to you. He's a bit taller than you, and he kind of like begins like shooing you off. Like, let me deal with this. Ah, oh, God, you don't even know how to handle your freaking. War bikes, and he begins walking it off on himself, and he kind of shoes all of you away from your bikes, and begins walking them off and parking them. <laughs> and then he kind of he kind of dusts himself down and says, "Now I'm not like the others, all right. I do take tip, but not in soul coins. This is old news. I want what you what you uh, you folks up top got. I want uh, give me give me give me five gold." And he sticks out. Okay. His, he sticks out his hand. Can I incite and him? And that's yeah. You can incite yeah, him. Screw it. I'll. I'll Just the, full crap. No alternative, ulterior motives for me. I'll just hand over the five gold. I don't hear anything else in his words. I mean, he's he's a valet of the hell, man. It's that's what you see. Thry, this guy's a straight up valet. You you give him the five gold and he, he he pockets it in a little like meat flap. And then he says, Alright, your bikes will be here nice and safe whenever you get back. If you don't die, that is. If you do die, I am legally allowed to sell your bikes. How long is that till you consider us dead? Uh what are your what what's your concept of dead? No longer living. If I see any of you walking around as, you know, one of the lesser devils, it's safe to assume you've died. That's fair. And I don't forget faces. I'll know you. And you see him pull out a little lawn chair that was there the entire time, and he sits down in it. Jerifil just like casually shakes his head and huffs and then starts walking towards the river sticks. Yeah. Alright. I, well, I trust this guy. He seems like a cool guy. He takes out like those little like uh, tanning boards. He begins <laughs> doing that. Before we go, can I ask him something? Sure. Uh, does he have any soul coins for sale that he may have got from people who died? Um, not on me, no. I, I don't really pill for corpses. I just sell bikes. Ah. And I don't take soul coins for payment. I, I like I like what you folk got. I'm trying to be an official business here in Avernus, all right? <laughs> I'm trying to be respectable. From over Jerifil's shoulder, he just calls back. I guess I'll see you topside sometime. He knows what's up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just following Jerifil to the sticks. All right, All right. Uh, I'm not carrying the so face guy much. So is it five gold from each of us to pay this guy to park? If it's five gold from each of us. That is a total ripoff. No, it was just, just from Jerifel, but Hen okay, tipped an yeah. additional 10. Yep. Okay. So, 15 total. So, you guys go from, you guys begin walking, boop, boop, you walk past a mountain, you walk past what looks to be a, a, a TIE fire, a TIE fighter from Star Wars, right here. And, uh, you make it to the edge of the river Styx. Alright, Hogarth, you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. You see the uh, the, sl the celestial energy kind of emits from Daenerys once again, surrounding her in this like cylinder, and explodes out. And now there's these like white feathery 
golden angel wings right there. With a little shimmer of a small halo above her white hair, but not too much. I'm going to grab you by a shoulder and look at her and be like, hey, you want to help her? Let me do it. Yeah, I will attempt to help, but I am you not know. uh the muscular sort. Alright. I well, grab under I, that arm, I'll grab under this arm and let's just go. <laughs> could tie a rope around me and around you guys. I think that would make it harder. Would that make it I, uh, I mean I think it'd make it harder, I feel like that'd be easier. I mean you can always turn it into something smaller if it really comes to it, right? Yeah, but I can't I won't be able to fly. I, uh, I can uh, Hope the wind carries me or something. But... <laughs> I mean, let's go for it, man. All right, so I'll wrap under one of your big arms and just fly up beside you with head on the other side, and we're gonna, I guess, attempt to fly directly up and see how this goes to get you across the River Six. All right, and uh, Thry turns wow. into a hawk and begins. Uh... Since the others grabbed Hogarth, I'll say you just grabbed Jarafel, so all of you are currently flying across. While we're up in the air, I'd like to try to spot the boat. Uh, sure, give me a perception check with advantage. I'm focused on not dropping Hogarth in the river stakes. So. Uh, with advantage! I need, I need... Oh, with advantage. I'll still add that one, though. Okay, so 15. You do indeed spy what seems to be like a a nice little, uh, like a, like a, oh, no, that's a shape. I don't want a shape. Hold on. I want to I wanna draw. You spy what looks to be a nice little, like a, like a, like a tour, like a tour guide boat going down the river sticks. Okay. Uh, which way is it going? It is going this way. That way. Okay. Okay. I mean, can I see like who's on it? How much can I really see on this? Um, you can. You get. You have a decent view. Fourteen. You can see a few of the people on it. Um, mostly devils. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. You can't okay. make out what type of devils, but devils. Sure. All right. And uh, and then eventually you guys land on the other side. No skill checks needed. No, you're fine. Sweet. Just kind of hoping you'd swim through it. <laughs> that would have been funny. I'm not that ballsy, man. Come on. Uh, All right. Well, I'm gonna. Once we land, I'm just gonna like. Roll my shoulders back, and my wings will kind of go back in. Okay. At this point, you see there's like two holes in the back of my uh, my clothing where my wings are just bamfing out. <laughs> I would have uh, stayed a giant hawk. Okay. Well, I would gratefully accept contact with the ground. <laughs> Let's get going then. Hi. <laughs> Need to see something real quick. Where where are you, my pretty? There you are. Yes. Okay. So you guys land on the other side. And all of you hear a loud roar. The roar that you've heard before of a mighty dragon. <laughs> and you see, as you all turn your heads to face this roar, the look of a large white dragon flying in your direction. Oh, cool. And we're going to pause to take a little 10 minute break here. Yeah. So be back with more dragon fun in 10. Woo. That's not a devil. All right. We're back, and the party just crossed the river stakes and are currently facing down an ice dragon. What you doing? Is the ice dragon on us? Ice dragon is gaining speed. 
Oh, and is, uh, you know, getting close. We're on foot. What could we possibly do? Run. Uh... Listen. Hear me out. What if we... I I'm being dead serious about this. I'm not joking. What if we just, like, stare down at it? You think it could just, like, get afraid and leave us alone? And we like we look real menacing, you know. We don't look scared. <sighs> I am quite scary, but we're not. No. No. Okay. Is <laughs> is there a cave nearby? I f I. S I don't know why, but on the outset of this, I thought there was going to be a lot more caves. No. These look like they could have maybe little cavey thingies. I mean, yeah, possibly. You can give me a perception check to see if you guys spot anything. Oh, boy, that's no good. Oh. Two, I 11, plus one. 11. Just wanted you guys to know that I have a plus one to perception. 10, Thrai, you gonna roll in perception? You didn't go through? Uh, I'm not. Let me try again. Did you go through this time? Yes, you got an 18. Uh, you don't spot any caves, but you do spot some nice outcroppings that have, like, overhang uh, rocks that provide shade and cover that you could sprint to. I'm going there. Okay. You you sprint. You boop -a doop -a doop Right here. I will absolutely help Spront. Spront. All right. Sprontosaurus. Uh, uh, all of you, um, once more, give me a perception check. Uh, uh, can I just fail it? <laughs> I'm gonna give myself guidance, since I know what I'm looking for. I'm nice cocked. More That's more. five. Five. Okay. Well, it's not that you guys are looking for more caverns. I mean, you are. But you also, uh, as you kind of peek out of the, um... Uh, uh, you peek out to see the progress of the dragon and it's flying closer when all of a sudden you hear a voice kind of echoing and shouting out Obatala heal! And you see midair the dragon kind of stops and comes to a land and begins turning around and flying back upwards as you, uh, you all see a turtle Runes <laughs> carved in his shell, uh, walking towards your location with l what looks to be a guard of four ghouly boys. Well, we avoided a dragon, maybe, but we got this, and this guy seems to be able to command the dragon, so this could actually be worse. Yeah, honestly, this does seem worse. Hey, listen, what do you need done? Why the hell are we here? Huh? Everyone looks at Hen. <laughs> yeah, are you asking Hen, or are you what? shouting to the turtle? I'm shouting out to the turtle. I, I mean, I, presume, I don't presume there's going to be two turtles down here. <laughs> Okay. Wait, why are we, why are we offering our services to him right away? What if we don't like him? I, I don't know. I didn't control. I didn't want to see this. Okay. You, I, you I, see I, the magical arcane sh I have around, kind of, sh but and I'm gonna cast another spell on myself as I kind of change the color of my, um, mage armor to like a quick blue green and then it fades back to normal as i hit myself with some death ward Ooh. uh 
just with like a quick glance, how f- far away time wise is the monument of Tiamat or uh... Archon's Tower? I guess. Well, Archon's Tower is a bit a ways on this, you know, cliff. Uh, mm-hmm. The monument of Tiamat, you could probably get there within maybe 20, 30 minutes. Um, oh, screw that then. Okay. As, as uh, Jerafel, you shout out towards Krull, uh, you hear uh, another voice. He's still kind of walking towards you all with his uh, four little assistants. And uh, you you hear him shout back. I can see you're heading to the monument. Visitors aren't accepted unless you have something you can offer. Ah, uh, Christ. We don't really... I don't think we have anything. Are you sure we need to go to the monument, Hen? I mean, we don't necessarily guess need to, but it would help our cause quite a bit. And how confident are you that your friend would have let us in? Yeah. We're not that kind of friends, you see. More like business acquaintances. We shake uh, hands with the same kind of people. Hmm. That sounds pretty likely. If so, you're leading the talk. Fair enough. I guess I'll wait for him and his ghoulie boys to approach or something okay i need to do a thing real quick as the ghoulie okay. boys approach i'm just gonna copy and paste copy and paste good old copy and paste in and getting some tokens. Good old tokens. JRR? Yep. Love them. Uh, what am I looking for? There they are. One. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Three. Ah, ah, ah. And four. And then finally, the main man himself. Oh. And now moving maps to a battle map. And you guys can put yourselves where you want to be. You're all missing health. I don't die. You guys can replenish your health. I'm just copied you from the last map. Uh, I'm actually not missing health. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get into a fight. We're gonna be fine. It's probably about uh, like this. Yeah, I, I will stand I myself we'll next behind. to uh, a gonna... hen. But otherwise, I, I finish talking. All right. Are you like uh, the gatekeeper to these parts? Hold on a second. Something won't load, and I need it to load. He he looks at you and says, Something like that. If you wish to enter the monument, passage will only be granted if you bring something valuable to hand in and trade. Otherwise, I instruct you all to leave at once. You know what wood's valuable to you? Not to me. Then to whom? Uh, 
one second. Need to read something real quick. Uh, let me find my notes on Krill and Archon. Hey, hey, my boy. Archon's Tower. Um... All right, hold on a second, sorry. I need to just check what would be considered valuable. <laughs> Possibly gold. Mm, knowing Wizards of the Coast, it's something of value. Yes. Yes, but what is valuable? Things which have value. Sounds about right. What is everyone's alignment? Bro. Oh, not, not, not great. <laughs> uh, uh, lawful neutral, just because of all the holy stuff that I have. Chaotic neutral. Neutral evil. <laughs> Telgarth? Uh... Undecided. Neutral? Okay, Daenerys. <laughs> What's the alignment? Neutral good for me. Neutral good. Alright, well, you're all safe. Ooh. You're all safe, unfortunately. Actually, no, you're not. I lied. <laughs> I immediately and I'll lied. fucking do it again. <laughs> I don't know how to uh, how to uh, literally say this. Okay, well, value. Uh, what's valuable to him? The sacrifice of a good aligned creature. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know how to role play that out. Fair. How do you role play saying? What I need from you guys is the I mean, sacrifice of one of your right. good aligned party members. Well, when he says that, I'm gonna try to sneakily enter my symbiotic entity. How are you going to sneakily, sneakily start spewing spores? So the spores that come out of me, <laughs> don't worry about me. In the in the big holes in my body that sort of form to let the spores out. I sort of I sort of just like wrap my arms around myself and try to cover me and. Uh, also, all the spores sort of just, like, flow behind me. They don't flow around me. So they hide behind my back. And, you know, it's just spores. Spores aren't threatening. It's, yeah, yeah, totally. Totally not threatening. Uh, give me a They're stealth not check dude. with this advantage. They're not threatening. They're not. Non-threatening spores. Nah, dude. They're fine. They're fine. Okay. Um, yeah, people well. don't live this long in Avernus, not questioning spores coming out of people. Come on! Come on! Alright, he <laughs> looks at you, he sees this happening, and then once again reiterates of, leave at once and only come back with an item of value, of great value. Or die. We're not going to sacrifice anybody for you. Hmm. That doesn't make back uh, kind of bad. Huh? Can I pull the nearest to the side? You're all the way down here, but. Oh, you know, you're the you eagle. Are. How are you going to pull someone to the side? Uh, I would turn back to Zoop. Put an eagle form right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can I ask something nice. to the tortoise quick? Sure. By sacrifice, you mean they just have to die, correct? 
Uh, that's usually what sacrifice means. <laughs> and will you do anything with the body? They just have to die. Um. <laughs> well, the body most likely won't be around much long afterwards. Why do you say that? Because it will be destroyed upon the sacrifice. Uh, hey, hey, Daenerys. Daenerys. Hmm. You're Daenerys? You're not. Uh, Therai. Hi, Therai. <laughs> uh, Therai. Listen, listen. And I'm whispering this. Mm -hmm. They don't hear it. Um, <laughs> of course. Would you say slobber chops is good? Could that uh, be something valuable to him? What would Slaughter Chops alignment be? Oh, uh, no, he isn't. He's, no. uh, kind of chaotic like me. Okay, how about your raptors? I doubt they're good, but I'd be like, can you summon something that's good, maybe? Actually, uh, question for the DM. I can tell you right now, the cat, the raptors are not going to do it. <laughs> not the raptors. Throwing it out there. Uh-huh. Uh, you know the one pet that I have that pretty much whenever we sleep and all that crap, like, I give it one of the, uh, good berries? No. <laughs> uh, Ratatata? Oh, your rat? Oh, Is he good. technically good? Right. Are any beasts good? Sure, so hope man. beasts are just beasts. If you train them to be good, they'll be good. Well, going off the giant rat, um, press X to doubt. They are <laughs> un they're unaligned, so they're not good. They're not evil. They're on. They're nothing. They're just. They're stuff. just a rat. Oh, but the trick question is the turtle good. Mmm. You Probably did not. you did get a solid look at him, right? When I showed you his <laughs> picture. <laughs> ah, trick question. No, it doesn't it's not all about looks. Uh Probably oh. not. Alright, alright. We're not gonna sacrifice anyone for you. We can just not have that conversation, because it's not gonna happen. Then leave and don't come back. Well, I would know. Hold on. We, we could find someone to sacrifice. Just not part of this group. I'm. We're cool with like sacrificing a stranger or something, right? No, no, we're not. No. Okay. Uh, I take the. I might take that back. We'll see. Uh, Hen writes into his book to Jerifel. So, we <laughs> gonna like take this guy or like, we turn him back. Like, we could probably take this guy. I will say that it would be very sad if my entity is wasted. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Admittedly, I'm not even entirely sure how powerful Krull is out of game, but I feel like he's real powerful. He got a lot of artifacts. No. Um, My man's weak. Can I ask you his, uh, possibly Tiamat? Huh? Can I ask him what are his thoughts on Tiamat? Lover. Would he be willing for a separate agreement then to let us through? <laughs> for the hilt of a broken dagger. Depends. What's what you got for him? <laughs> uh what about something that was part of her personal hoard? You gonna show it? I'm not gonna I'm not add a voice for him. 
I'll do yeah, a voice I'm for ask. Archon, but... Yeah. He's gonna ask you to show it. Uh... I'm gonna whisper to Hogarth, I'm gonna say, uh... Could you let Hen to tell everyone else no, uh... Just be ready if you try something funny. I can... I will do that. I've also... I can cast Detect Thoughts on him. See what he's thinking. Is he pretty hostile right now? But I guess I, I don't know. He does have his weapon at the ready, which is a giant maul. And he oh, has... That's, a, that's pretty hostile. He has told you guys, you know, leave or die. Ah, that's pretty hostile. He also called off a dragon. So, control of that. All right, all right, all right. I guess I'd ask, is it really that important for us to get in there? I, I, I don't know. I think that's more for Hen to ask, or you to ask Hen. He's the guy who knows this dragonborn folk. I'd ask Hen, like, how important is it? Well, importance is a matter of, uh, you know, uh, what do you call that? Perspective? Like, to me, very important. You, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what's important to you. What's important to you? Uh, I guess ask, is it worth a valuable item? Uh, possibly. I'll just move up a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. God damn it. So, uh... We, we gonna show him the dagger hilt, or... I guess I'll take the dagger up, but keep a type red off the helmet. Okay. And show him it from afar. You show it to him from afar, and he kind of gestures to you to bring it close. Uh, I'll say this is close enough, or I'll take a few steps, and that's it. All right. I'll walk next to him. Okay. Uh. He he looks at you looks at the dagger and says basically something of the sorts of that's good but if you want entrance into the monument you need something greater than just a dagger why why is this monument so off limits that <laughs> we can't just like go in and like have a look around man you gotta you gotta offer up something this is a Seems... place of uh, great importance nah so we nah, have to offer nah. him our most valuable item you have to offer him something like, of value to... something equivalent to getting rid of the life and soul of a good aligned individual Yeah, the best I can do is 20 bucks. <laughs> huh. I, offer I got nothing. He's okay. gonna say no to your bean. Can I plant the bean? Do you want to plant the bean? I guess I'd ask the party, do you guys want me to try planting a bean and see what happens? Maybe it'll help us, maybe it won't. Not really, no. No. Uh, how about a pit feed blood? blood? Is that worth a good person? Uh, unfortunately, no. No, alright. How about my hand? Is your hand good aligned? It's killed lots of evil things. 
basically you either need to perform a sacrifice, bring someone to sacrifice, or you need to bring a item of great, great draconic power to get in. My hand is can great kill draconic power. I'm gonna take a rain check on this. So <laughs> the monument is off limit. And so is the tower, or is he like just blocking the monument? Um, the tower is also currently off limits, as he most likely you can assume okay. crawl came from the tower. Yeah. Listen, what right does this guy have to be the bouncer of both the monument and the tower? That they just seems so big. Yeah. It appears he has the power to. To do so, so I wouldn't question it too much. Ah. Screw him, man. We're not getting anywhere with this guy. No, Fast. we're not. We could have eight hours to think on it. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna give us time. I think gonna be they decide now or we just leave. I'm for leaving at the moment. What a waste of my symbiotic entity. It lasts for an hour. Not ten minutes. Oh, it's ten minutes, that's right. Yeah. Unfortunate. I guess I'll look you guys say, are you sure you don't want to try it? <laughs> Listen, I'm all down for killing this guy. Uh, it doesn't look like other people want to. Unless you're talking I mean, about the moon, or are you talking the bean? Uh, you. Me? What? what, what? <laughs> Just, I'd be up for trying to fight. Oh. And I, I don't know. I think we could, uh... I think we could take him. It's sure, but I'm, I'm fine with either option, pretty much. How do you feel about Zerio? Turtle man. Hmm. That's a fun question. As you say this, as everyone begins walking away, he kind of gives you a look, Cenaris. And with kind of like one of those looks of like, you know, in movies when someone begins walking away, but you know, they're like saying, just follow me. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what he does. He turns and begins walking towards the monument. I, in opposition to my party kind of starting to walk the other way, I'm just going to follow him without saying a word <laughs> well fuck i'm not perceptive without saying the word baby i just turn and i start following crawl okay and god how long would it take me to notice that i don't have the person that i just tried to save you should probably not I, i'm pretty I'd small probably, i mean i'm small but i'm not like invisible yeah currently yeah but i gotta pass a perception of 11. Oh, that's fair. I think you'd notice after a quick second if you guys one of us would notice. Yeah, one of you guys would notice over. that on, Harris is following Crawl towards the monument. Hey, well, uh, in that case, I had to hightail it back and just like, oh, ah, uh, well, uh, now it was easy. <laughs> All right, you guys. I knew what we were doing. Begin heading to the monument. The large draconic skull. Where you see... Uh, let's see you see a colossal dragon skull leans against a mountain size, surrounded by bones the size of houses. Acrid smoke rises from the skull's maw, and a military tent has been pitched among the bones, and parked next to it is a two-wheeled infernal war machine. Gathered around this tent are a dozen chattering reptilian humanoids with 
Let me get to the handout. Uh, handout, where are you? Uh, oh, I've already showed you them, but a dozen chattering reptilian humanoids with the gleaming swords, white scales, and white leathery wings. As you walk close, um, all of these uh, Abishai, 12 of them, begin rushing uh, towards you guys to intercept you, but you see Krull waves them down and begins leading you all towards this tent where he gestures you all inside. And because I personally want the Archon encounter to be badass and actually have a map for it, since I don't have a map for it, uh, we're going to call the session here, uh, like an hour early, two hours early. Because right. I want Archon to have a cool encounter, and I don't have anything ready for that. Sounds good. So we're going to end here. So uh, Archon next weekend. Yeah. Oh.